The first part of our trigonometry review is learning about special right triangles. One of them is a 45-45-90 right triangle. As you can see, both legs have a side length of x, and then the hypotenuse is x root 2. They can find this by using the Pythagorean theorem. We can use the properties of a special right triangle, like shown below, to solve for their lengths. Let's try a problem. Find the lengths of the unknown sides in the triangle BAT and BOY shown in the following figure. As you can see, these are both 45, 45, 90 triangles, and thus they are similar. We can use the special properties of it, the 45, 45, 90 triangle to solve for its side lengths. Using the ratio of xx to x root 2, we know that the triangle BAT has legs of 8 and a hypotenuse of 8 root 2. With this now known information, we can use ratios to figure out the second triangle has a leg of 5 root 2 and a hypotenuse of 10 using the Pythagorean theorem. The second special right triangle is a 30-60-90 triangle. The side length ratio is 1, 1 root 3, and 2. The side length opposite to 30 degrees is A, side length opposite to 60 degrees is always A root 3, and the side length opposite to the 90 degrees is always twice the side length of A, so 2. Once again, you can use the special right triangle properties to solve for the unknown side lengths. In this problem, the triangle TRI in the figure has a hypotenuse of 14 inches long. Can we figure out the other sides? Yeah, of course we can. We can use the properties. We know that the hypotenuse is 14 inches long, and based off our ratios, we know that IR, the side length opposite to 30 degrees, is half of 14, so it's 7 inches long. And then TI is A root 3, so we multiply 7 by root 3, so TI is 7 root 3. The next part of our trigonometry review is a unit circle. A unit circle has a center of 0, 0 and a radius of 1. It gives you the sine and the cosine of every angle in, for both pi radians and for degrees. You can use the unit circle to find out many things, such as sine of certain degrees. You can find the sine of 180 by looking at the y coordinate of 180 degrees or pi radian. You know that the sine of 180 degrees is 0 because the y coordinate of 180 is 0. In a similar way, the cosine of 180 degrees is negative 1 because that's the x coordinate. Each coordinate is in the formation of cosine and sine. Now you're probably wondering how do we find the tangent? Well, you know that the cosine of 180 degrees is negative 1 and the sine is 0. You can use the formula tangent equals sine over cosine and plug in 0 over negative 1 to figure out that the tangent of 180 degrees is actually 0. As you can see in a typical unit circle, both degrees and radians are given. Radians are just a natural way to measure circles. It's just another unit of circle measurement, just like degrees. You know that a circle has 360 degrees. Likewise, a circle actually also has two pi radians. Here are some common radian to degree measurements. A 30 degree angle is equal to pi over 6 radians. A 45 degree angle is pi over 5, 4 radians. 60 degree angle is pi over 3 radians. And a 90 degree angle is pi over 2 radians. The top row has the three main trigonomic functions. I use the saying so katoa to help me. This says that sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite over adjacent. These trigonomic functions only work on right triangles. Reciprocal functions also only work on right triangles. This says cosecant, opposite or the reciprocal of sine, is hypotenuse over opposite. Secant is the opposite or the reciprocal of cose, meaning it's hypotenuse over adjacent. Cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent, so it's adjacent over opposite. This is all in relative to angle A.